Other top story tonight, get the lead out. That's what activists are demanding after a new report gave North Carolina a failing grade for safe school drinking water. The Tar Heel State among 22 states that got an F for not getting rid of lead from water fountains. And it's not the first time. This is a problem that our defenders team has covered for more than a year now. In fact, our investigation found elevated lead levels in dozens of Charlotte Mecklenburg schools. NBC Charlotte's Hunter Sines joins us now. Hunter, this report is really shocking for parents. Tanya, what's also shocking is some school water fountains in our areas have not been tested for lead, and that could be putting your kids at risk. Now activists are calling for change. A murky review for North Carolina's policies when it comes to testing your children's water at schools. It's always good to test, and it surprises me that people are waiting. Currently, the Tar Heel State has no law requiring schools to test their pipes for lead. That and other criteria, including public disclosure of results, landed them an F in a new report. Yes is critical. Uh, yeah, it, lead is highly toxic. Especially for children. State Representative Nazif Majid of Mecklenburg County has called for action. You, you question something as critical in public health as it affects our children that uh, it would be a no-brainer. But evidently it isn't. However, Gary Silverman, a former water quality specialist, says the report is simplistic. We also don't have programs that are targeting individual homes. We do have um, national drinking water standards that are pretty good. They're not perfect. CMS voluntarily tested their water for lead last year. They told NBC Charlotte schools that were built before 1989 were tested and they won't be doing any more. This North Carolina bill would mandate all schools in this state test for lead, but, but it is stuck in committee and will likely die there. Reporting live tonight, Hunter Signs, NBC Charlotte. Well, that bill would make a difference, Hunter. Thank you.